it's DX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Monday. It is Monday, April the 15th, and we have a fly in the studio. So this ought to be really fun. He just appeared just as I pushed the go live button. Anyway, I want to welcome y'all to my studio. We're going to be doing this crazy thing called Mystery Monday Stamping. If you're on my newsletter list or in, you're in our Mystery Stampers Facebook group, you received the first clue, which is to gather your supplies. So um, as we are waiting for everyone to join us, um, I think I saw a message from Delina in the chat asking me if my ears were burning today. Were you talking about me, girl? Um, I, um, yeah, there's the fly. <laughs> I don't even have a fly swatter in this room. I haven't had flies at all. So what the heck? Anyway, he must have snuck in with the dogs. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain about mystery stamping if you're new to my channel. Um, we have been doing this for four years. So that alone should tell you this. there must be something happening here. Uh, we have quite the group of mystery stampers. Um, we've been doing it for four years and I'm going to have a little giggling spree, I guess, because the fly keeps tickling my arms. Um, we've been doing it for four years. I First of all, I want y'all to know it is fun, okay? It's, un it's a unique way to make a card using the supplies that you have at home. When our world shut down four years ago, um, the I just felt really strong about uh, keeping people stamping, um, even though we couldn't be together in person. So coming together virtually worked out really well for us. So um, there are two rules before we get started to mystery stamping. Okay, I already told you it's easy, but the first rule is no stress. Please do not stress. This is a fun way to make a card. I'm not there with you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm going to be giving you some clues to finish up your card. Um, rule number two, if you don't like those clues, that hurt my feelings. Somebody did balloons. How fun is that? I don't know how y'all do that. Y'all did it on Thursday night too. Um, name the fly Elmer. <laughs> he wants to learn mystery stamping, says Barbie. Oh, goodness. All right. So rule number two is you have all the pieces to make a card. You don't have to follow my rules. I simply want you to make a card. So we we have this saying here in this in the mystery stampers world called just go rogue. OK, um, it is a fun, fun activity and you are not allowed to be stressed. OK, let's see. I want to say hello to everyone in the live chat. I'm going to look for Delina's comment uh, to see if she was talking about me. Um, happy Monday, Michelle. Um, I see that you are finally home from your travels. Hi, Beth Bruner. Good to see you. Hi, Shirley Gentry from Georgia. I am feeling much better. I hope I sound better and look better. Um, I am feeling much better. Thank you. So I'm looking for your comment, Delena. Mm -hmm. There you go. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen your answer. So we're going to get started. Here are Here is that first mystery clue that I told you was emailed out um, and posted on Facebook. Okay. Let me get situated here on my perch because <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna be here a while. Um, you know, Mary Yates, I did not get a new tabletop. These are, so I'm trying to find something. We have been using the black, um, but I, black is depressing. <laughs> My light colored tabletop that I have underneath, I, I put it on, you know, it's like a vinyl and I put it on a couple months ago. And um, anyway, it, it made our paper so washed out. So these boards are what, um, they're from replica surfaces and you can get them to use as backdrops to take photos. So I thought I would try something a little bit brighter maybe but look at the difference. Look how when I put the paper, it gets dark again. I don't get it. All my lighting is still the same. 
Oh, Delina says, yes, I was speaking of you today, was looking forward to tonight and wondering how you're feeling. Perfect. That sounds like you were just um, looking forward to mystery stamping and I am feeling really good. I'm telling you, I, um, I'm amazed and I'm blessed. So there we go. All right. So if you're new to mystery stamping, if you want to take a screenshot of this, you can. After the mystery is solved tonight, over on the blog at 8 p.m. Central, I will have, um, can we see clue number two? Oh, oh yeah. I'll, I'll show you in just a second. If you, you don't have to take a screenshot of anything. Um, <laughs> I will have the clues for you in a condensed version. Uh, I think it's like three pages. So you don't have to worry about it if you don't have it. All right, let's get started. Clue number two. I'm going to be sneaky on this one tonight. We're going to start with the envelope. I want you to use adhesive, um, add adhesive to the envelope flat, adhere the designer series paper that is six inches by two and a half, trim it with the paper snip scissors. When you're done with clue number two, type done two. Thank you, Frog Quilter. I'm so glad I'm feeling better too. Yeah, Margaret, you you you're peeking through. <clears throat> um, you can see through the paper, but if you can read, I, you know, at first that used to freak me out, but I'm like, if y'all can read all of what clue number three is, y'all are good. <laughs> Denise Smith, you're looking great, Sharon. Hope you're feeling great, too. Had a total hip replacement on Friday. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Denise. And trouble with the oxygen all over the place. And blood pressure was too low. Oh, my goodness. Missed a nap this p.m., so you're tired. I just don't overdo it. You can sit back and rest and chillax. Watch tonight's mystery stamping. If you want to make this card... I didn't get the card out. <laughs> Hold, please. I'll be right back. Not that you're going to get to see it anytime soon, but it would be nice to have it. Um, when you're done with clue number two, type done too. So yes, um, Denise, I sure hope that you heal quickly. Um, I know that everyone... <laughs> Elmer is driving me nuts. I'm going to have to find a flask water, I think. <clears throat> I know that... You know, anytime we have surgery and then we have any other issues, it's just, it's annoying and it's stressful. So I do wish you a speedy recovery, my friend. Okay, we are set now. <laughs> You know, Sarah Kendall, I say that those are my prayers every night. I pray for every, anyone who is struggling, um, dealing with illnesses, dealing with uh, healing. Um, so I'm with you. I say the same prayer. Hi, Gail. We're glad you're here. Um, and then Mary Yates says she's tired, but we're glad you're here, Mary. All right. I'm seeing some duns with two. That's pretty easy. All the clues, you know, mystery stamping is a step-by-step -step way to make cards. When you do anything step-by-step, -step, it's easy. Last week's card was a double Z fold. And I had so many of you say how easy it was versus if you just saw that, say a picture of it, you'd say, oh, that's too complicated. I, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And if it's done here on Mystery Stamping, yes, you can. <laughs> All right, let's move on to clue number three. I want you to take your embossing folder and I want you to emboss the basic white layer um, with your die cutting machine, whatever one you have. Okay, let me scoot this down a little bit. Sally McFadden, <laughs> she said, our onstage after hours table was so much fun. You were so right. You didn't do me in. I think I just caught a bug. 
I literally got sick Saturday night at on stage in Houston. Like I, I left dinner and went straight to bed, drove home the next day and was sick for three weeks. Didn't test positive for COVID. Yeah. Had an ear infection and a sinus infection. And it just takes me so long to get over that mess. So, but we had a good time in Houston, didn't we, Sally? <clears throat> All right. When you're done with, um, oh, hi, Lori. I just explained what, <laughs> what was going on with me. I missed out on mystery stamping and Thursday Night Live. I mean, I was down for the count. So, but I'm better. I'm better. Um, huh, Michelle, I bet you are jet lagged. Yeah, it, it traveling is hard on you. Traveling is hard on you. I really wish I could make this lighter. It's so, I don't know what it is. Makes me crazy. Look how pretty and light that is. The white paper in. Mystery. All the mysteries of mystery stamping. Mary Yates, we sure did. We had a good time in Houston. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am, Kate, we did. Stephanie Hahn, she cheated. She embossed that piece of white paper before we even got started. Girl, I call that going rogue. <laughs> you went rogue before you were told to do it. Mm -hmm. Rogue always is allowed. Always. <clears throat> Um, oh dear. Delina says they have a level one warning in North Carolina tomorrow, um, for her, for uh, tornadoes. I'm trying to scroll back through. Um, all right. I think we are getting done. Paula says, try laying a piece of black card stock behind my instructions. I had a piece of black. Well, see, and that's why I was using the black um, board before. I was like, I don't want it. <laughs> well, that's a hot mess. Unbelievable. All right. No, nope. look at that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Pamela says, I have to watch this time. I don't have my embossing machine set up. That's okay. You know what? <clears throat> you could put the paper in there and put, put the paper, put the cardstock in your embossing folder and stand on it or use a rolling pin. Has been known to be done before in a pinch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Margaret said I use the original side from my envelope. What does that mean your original side? Hi, Carolyn from Kansas City, Missouri. She's just watching tonight. That's okay. Uh, got new prescription glasses. Oh, those are so hard to get used to. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to need a couple of days to adjust. I understand. <clears throat> Paula says, lay it sideways and put the instructions on top. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, here we go. Hi, Grandma Jane. We're just playing with lighting here. You haven't missed much. Um, oh, you're a little tired this evening. Well, we're glad you're here. Just sit back and relax and watch. And, you know, we're just playing with lighting. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm hot, I'm hot mess tonight with the lights. <laughs> I don't think that helped, Paula. Do you? I think it's still just as dark. Oh, boy. Okay. When you're done with, KT is done with two and three. So. Sarah is done with three. Yeah, Mary Yates says jump up and down on that folder if, you, if you're if you going to go with that standing on it. <laughs> okay, Zarenko is doing two cards tonight. 
Hi, Vicki Trevino. She loves my butcher block top. I thought it would be something different. Um, I haven't used it for photos and I thought, well, we'll try that. I mean, I, I think the lighting is only bothering me and not y'all, right? You're, you can see the clues just fine. Linda says, I think your camera is adjusting the light the same way it would as if you were taking a photo in front of a bright window. However, when I see your clues on the white paper, it's clear to me. Good. As long as you can read the clues, we're good. Oh, Donna Ray McNair says it makes the words pop. Okay, perfect. I think we're good. <clears throat> Renee says there's no problem on her screen. Okay, well, I think we're fine. Delina says we can see the clues just fine. Perfect. Okay. Oh, Carmen is doing two cards at once. Who else is doing two cards? <clears throat> huh. Denise Smith, I don't like old either. <laughs> old, old doesn't look good on us. Mm -mm. Although I will say <clears throat> that when I went for my checkup, the, the new doctor that I met said that um, I don't look my age. And I was like, do I look older or younger? <laughs> and he said I looked younger. So that was good. It was a new doctor. He was really good. I really liked him. Um, KS is doing four cards. Wow. I want you to post your four cards in the Mystery Stampers Facebook group if you're on Facebook because I want to see them. Judy says she has enough trouble just doing one card. <laughs> Sarah Kendall says, I am 75 and glad to be here. I am glad you're here too, Miss Sarah. <clears throat> and Grandma Jane, I hope you get to feeling better, being a little tired. I know, Mary Ace, I was pretty happy. I mean, I've never had a doctor say that. <laughs> I was like, you know, because they know your date of birth. They know how old you are. Um, I know, Margaret, I'm impressed, too, that she's got four going. And Margaret um, is a young 80-year-old. Mm -hmm. <gasps> y'all, do y'all know? Did I tell y'all that I learned how to play canasta the other day? I love it. It was so much fun. Um, I had a group of ladies that invited me to uh, join them. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to play. And they're like, that's okay. We'll teach you. I was like, okay. Had a blast. All right, let's move on to clue number four. I want you to add the embossed white card, the embossed white layer to your card front with adhesive. Now, we've embossed it. So y'all know I like using liquid glue so that that doesn't pop off. Carmen says she loves can canasta. Barbie, 86. Girlfriend, I just talked to you on the phone. You do not sound 86, but she's very well seasoned. Susan Hammond says, I'm 60 and glad to be here. Kay Strum is having a birthday next week. She's going to be 75. Cindy Wagner is 76. Um, Renee says, I have been playing Canasta since I was in my 20s. Renee, how have I not played this game? And my kids, one of my kids said, what are you, 80? And I was like, what? So that's not an old person's game. And I was like, it is not. I said, well, I'm not 80. My friends might be 80, but I'm not 80. <laughs> None of us were 80. Anyway, Renee, I'm glad that you know how to do it. Beth Bruner says, well, I hate to brag, but I'm 85. Girl, you don't look it either. Barb says, my mother had a canasta group for decades. So fun. So these ladies, there's one who has played forever, and the other ladies have only played like four or five times. So I don't feel like I'm, well, I mean, I'm new to the group, but um, at least, you know, I'm not the, in other words, they're not all like have been playing for a long time. Kate says, I'll be 70 in May and still kicking. Rochelle Canasta was fun to play. <gasps> Carmen 112, 1112 says that she's been playing for 50 years. 
Um, Linda wants me to go back to clue number three. Clue number three was to add the embossed, uh, it was to emboss your four by five and a half, five and a quarter <laughs> a piece of paper with your embossing folder. Um, Andrea, it is a card game. You play with a lot of cards. I mean, I'm thinking, are y'all who've been playing Canasta, Renee and all them, um, tell me, is it pretty much a deck of cards per person? There was a lot of cards. There were five, four of us, five of us. And I think they said we had five decks. I don't know. It was a lot of cards. Carmen says, 62 years young here. Hi, Becky Horn. She'll be 55 on the 26th. Happy birthday to y'all. <clears throat> yeah, Michelle Townsley, you know, she's kind of she's kind of one-upping everybody here as far as birthdays. She actually celebrated her birthday a last Tuesday in Cuba. Girl, I was watching you. Delina says she hasn't played Canasta since the early 60s. Girl, it's time to pull it out. It was fun. We had a good time. All right. No, no, Renee, they play with more than two decks. I'll have to ask them. Yeah. I, mm, I mean, there was, there was two stacks of cards like that. Hand and foot is similar to Canasta. We play with six to nine players, a deck for each person. I don't know. I'll have to ask them what we did. <clears throat> wow, Stephanie. Happy birthday and happy birthday to mom on Friday. All right. We're going to get to making our cards. So I can see that y'all can see. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to fix this. Y'all can see through the paper. Okay. Clue number five. I want you to cut the designer series paper that is two and a half by four into one inch strips. So you will have four that are two and a half by one. So was it Margaret? Yes, you do get 15 cards. We got 15 cards each. Hi, Peggy. We're glad you're here. Uh, Renee says I always played with two to four players. <laughs> y'all. Yeah. Sarah Kendall says, I haven't played with a full deck in years. <laughs> you know, I'm amazed at where our conversations go here on Mystery Stamping. I am just amazed. <laughs> oh, girl, you are cracking me up. Mary Sue says, I play hand and foot and you crack? I've never played that. Oh, Michelle says <clears throat> it was a humanitarian project involving a bird survey, which is your happy place. I thought you were there just bird watching. I didn't quite understand. Okay. <clears throat> um, so when you're done with clue number five, type done five. I don't know what Ukraine is. I got to look that up now. I know, Margaret Burkett. These ladies, they're too funny. They are just too funny. <laughs> and Sue says, Sarah Kendall, I have many days where I feel like I'm the joker. <laughs> Becky Horn, Matt has not shown up yet. Yet. Glad you're here, my friend. Um, Pamela says, what if your paper has a design like a flower scene? I'm so glad your paper has a flower scene. You're going to cut it exactly like this. Pamela, I know it's scary, but you got to do it. Michelle says, can I show a sample? A sample of cutting? I did not prep a piece. Um... But I just happen to have a piece of designer series paper. This is not what I used on my card, but this is new 
in color paper coming in May. Let me get my trimmer. <clears throat> uh, so two and a half by four. And you can't see. We're going to cut this into one inch strips. So we have four one inch strips. Did I turn that? No, I turned that. Hold on. So however you cut it, you're going to put it back together eventually the same way. See how you can still see my pattern? Still see the flower? Does that help you, Michelle? Done five, done five. This is pretty in pink. It's so pretty <laughs> in pink. <clears throat> okay. Renee, don't let me forget that. Um, let me tag this. Renee, don't let me forget. We're going to talk about the membership. Uh, Nancy says, what is the name of that paper? It's beautiful. Um, so this, you'll be able to get this May 1st and it is the 2024, 2026 in color designer series paper. Do you want to see all of it? Do you want to see all the colors if you haven't seen them already? So <clears throat> pretty in pink has straps on the back. And then there's another pattern, kind of like that. And then little dots. And so that's it. So those are the patterns. And then here is peach pie. <laughs> I just love saying that word. <laughs> I got some peach pie. Now, these two colors right here, don't they look? almost the same mm -hmm. this is shy shamrock and this is summer splash and i <laughs> my old eyes keep going what is are these the same color look how close they are they're so close in color but they're not they're not the same and then we have ta-da this one is pop. No. Petunia. Petunia pop. I was going to say pop petunia, but it's petunia pop. So super pretty. These are all the new in colors that will be coming May 1st. So stamp pads, markers, all of that. The ribbons are very hard to tell apart. Delina is trying to, to educate me. Girl, I'm going to need it. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> this one does have a blue hue to it, and this does have more of a yellow. But when you, so um, who was it that said the ribbon? The ribbon is, is very hard to tell. Like you got to read this. You got to read the side of the ribbon. <laughs> I don't know. I think we could have just gone with maybe a new yellow or something. I don't know. But they didn't ask me. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, I love the color. It's just I have to stop and question myself. Which one am I holding? Am I holding Shy Shamrock or am I holding Summer Splash? Yeah, I've been sick. I'm going to use that excuse. <laughs> All right. How are we doing? Becky Horn says it makes her want Sherbert. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're done with five. Okay. 
<clears throat> oh my goodness. Add the four two and a half by one inch strips to the four pieces of colored cardstock with adhesive. Matt is in the house. Matt is in the house. We're going to mat our designer series papers. When you're done with clue number six, type done six. Oh, Pamela, I don't want you to stress. Remember, first rule of mystery stamping. So you're so welcome for cutting down for the cutting demo. Um, I don't want you to ever be anxious. Okay. Anytime, anytime you're going, just ask, just ask. I'm always happy during mystery stamping to stop, go get something and teach you. Mary Walk, 59 and holding until June. Her husband turned 60 the week before. How did y'all do that? That's funny. Sarah Kendall, bless Matt. <laughs> Deborah Clary, I don't know when my million dollar stamp set's gonna come out. I'm getting impatient. It's gonna be a while. It takes time. I mean, I had a meeting in September and then I had a, uh, an email two weeks ago. So we're getting closer to finalizing it, but then I don't know when they're going to release it. So I say they should put it as an online exclusive. Then it could come out right away. We don't have to wait for a catalog. Beth Bruner says, howdy, Matt. There are four of the colored cardstock pieces, <laughs> Michelle. Yes. Yes, there are. There are four. <clears throat> Let's do a rewind, Michelle. Colored cardstock for right here. See that? It's all right, girl. You can make the card tomorrow. Get some rest. Yes, Diane. Summer Splash does have a bluish tint. It's it's really, you know, I was trying to put it close to uh, Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay. It's very close to our old Bermuda Bay. What? Nah, it's closer to Coastal Cabana. Uh, let's see. Hello, Matt is in the house. We do love our Matt. Uh, Michelle only had three pieces cut. Well, how'd you get three out of that instruction? <laughs> Hi, Jolene. I'm so glad you're here from Florida. Um, and Shirley's here from Two Harbors, Minnesota. Love Mystery Stampin'. Y'all, are y'all inviting your friends to join us for Mystery Stamping? Because um, there are new people, there are people out there who do not know what Mystery Stamping is. And they all need to be here stamping with us. <clears throat> Carmen says, I think I finally got my cuts all the right size. Perfect. Perfect, Carmen. I'm so glad. Whew. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. All right, here we go. Place, don't do anything else, but place the four pieces of cardstock and designer series paper on the left side of the card front, making sure they are spaced well from the top and the bottom and that they're spacing in between each other. We are not butting these up against each other, okay? When you are satisfied, add them to the card front with adhesive. While I didn't say to have liquid adhesive, this is a good option for this due to the wiggle room that the liquid glue gives you. All right, that's a long clue. Move it over here a little bit, there we go. That is a long clue, but I think you understand it, right? Um, Diane wants me to show clue number five. <clears throat> okay. Um, right, Jackie Scott, a yellow color. Okay, so clue number five. Cut the designer series paper. Remember, it was two and a half by four, and we're cutting it into one inch strips. So you will have four two and a half by one inch strips. And I did do the cutting for you on camera. 
And that's what you end up with. Okay. You know, Chad has not been around in a while because we haven't done any die cutting. <laughs> Chad usually shows up on a Thursday night. Matt is always in the studio. I uh, think splish splash water and shy sham rock is greener than black grass. <laughs> I, I know the names. It's just when I look, if I just have one in my hand and not the other beside it, I can't figure out which one I'm holding. Just saying. Um, Michelle Townsley just found her fourth piece. Uh, let's see. Barb says, is there a way, whoops, hold on. Where'd you go? Is there a way to the left or is there a space from the left? I, you know what? I didn't say to the left, but you're right. It needs to be spaced evenly. Let me get my, hold on. My pieces are not matted, but this is what I want you to do. Place to the left. Hold on, I'm getting all my pieces. And we want them spaced from the top. Oh, that was a terrible color to pick because it's blending in. Good grief. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. So we're just placing them, spacing them apart. Okay, getting them straight. So even on the left, top and the bottom. Now that's a suggestion. You may not like my suggestion. You might go rogue. But if you do go rogue, remember that somehow there's going to be a greeting on this card. So careful there. Careful being creative. <laughs> Can't see the bottom of the clue. Ends with you. That's it. It ends with you. <laughs> That's it, my friend. It ends with you. Uh, just realized my problem is how I cut my DSP. We'll need to make a landscape card. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about that. If your paper is cut to where it ends up being a landscape card, when I give you the clue for your greeting, you're going to have plenty of room still. So if you did that, Roxanne and whoever else that was, then um, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <gasps> Y'all are loving the card. Delina says, okay, got it. It ends with you, girl. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. Why? Oof. My, um, I have two screens going, and for some reason... Wasn't seeing all of the. So we are going to talk about how some of the people in the chat have a little Texas logo by their name. Um, we, I, <laughs> I'm not going to throw Renee under this bus. <laughs> I started the idea of a special stamping friend VIP membership section here on my YouTube channel um, before I went to Stampin' Up's convention and before I got sick for three weeks. So some of you have already, we talked about this last week, and we said that we would explain all the benefits of being in the membership and what you were going to um, be getting for your monthly fee. So we will be doing that. Um, I'm seeing some duns with number seven and that you guys are loving your card. I'm so glad. 
Thank you, Melanie. I'm so glad to be feeling better too. Okay. All right, let's see some more Duns with Seven. Hi, Lori Anderson. Michelle says, did I say Done Seven? Because if I didn't say Done Seven, I'm done with Seven. So, Michelle, what are you doing? <laughs> Girl, you're delirious. You're delirious. <clears throat> Joan Miller went rogue. Excellent, excellent. I want y'all to just, I want you to feel creative with the pieces that you have in front of you. There is no right or wrong way to do mystery stamping, okay? We're following suggestions, which I call clues, and you don't have to do it my way. You can go rogue. So there you go. Okay. All right, that was a long clue, but I think we're good. <clears throat> clue number eight. Stamp your sentiment on the basic white scrap cut to size with a paper trimmer. Now I'm asking you to cut it to size with a paper trimmer. I did not tell you to have dies or punches because it really doesn't flow. Uh, how do I say this? Hold on, let me get my pretend card here, my prop. See how all those rectangles are? If you put a big punch there, you're going to lose this design. Carmen says I should have chosen a different embossing folder, you mean? Um, but I'm loving this card so far. I think you're going to love this card. I really do. So <clears throat> we're going to be trimming our stamped piece of paper like maybe as a rectangle even as a square would work but we're trimming it to size when you're done with clue number eight type done eight yeah the card the instruction said that this card is going to be portrait but sometimes when we're cutting we forget that and we cut our designer series paper to where it's landscaped. Done with eight, done with eight. Okay. All right. There's 332 of you on here. Let me see a few more done with eight. There we go. I never want to rush all, you know, everybody stamps and works at different at a different pace and I never want to rush you, but I feel like, I feel like we're good. Okay. Clue number nine, create a mat for the greeting layer with the colored cardstock layer, colored cardstock scrap <laughs> using your paper trimmer. Adhere the greeting and mat layer. I capitalized it and I didn't add another T. I don't know what was wrong with me. Renee, what was wrong with me? together with adhesive. So we are creating a mat for our, our greeting layer. We're trimming it to uh, be the right size. Um, let's see. Brianna Wilson says, I'll be doing my card tomorrow, just watching and getting the clues to not. No problem. I understand. Everybody does um, mystery stamping in their own way, just like, um, you know, the Creative 8 Retreat is this weekend, and um, everybody does the retreat their own way. Some like to just watch all of the, the presentations here on YouTube. It's on a, a different channel. Um, there are private links, and then they like to print the tutorials. Um, Renee, look at her being ornery. I saw that. I just wanted to see if you would notice. <laughs> Anyway, um, the Creative 8 Retreat. So some people do it their own way. Some people like to just watch, print everything off, make the projects later. Some like to cut everything ahead of time and try to make it with us, which I don't know how y'all do that. Um, but the beauty of it is you have access to the information forever. You have all of the tutorials. There's going to be 48 tutorials for you. There is a optional Facebook group if you want to be a part of that to share your um your creations after you make ours. 
Um, so if you have not signed up for the retreat, I highly invite you to. Um, if you have attended um, the one of the Creative 8 retreats, will you say something in the chat? Um, and if you're watching the replay, I want to hear from you too. Have you learned new things, new ways to make cards or maybe a technique? Um, what do you love about the retreats? Do you love how we do them? Do you love um, meeting new stampers in the community? What do you love about the Creative 8 retreats? I will go, um, when I'm done with the video, I will put the link to the retreat uh, information under in the description box of this video. Um, but we start Friday night. So I want to uh, um, let you know that it's coming. Uh, Mary says... Hold on, let me grab this. Oh, great cards, lots of good ideas. Um, Aline says, I love the techniques. Boy, you guys are typing so fast. I'm clicking. Oh, Delina says, I absolutely love the Creative 8 retreats. Great new ideas and fabulous tutorials from the Creative 8 crew. The Creative 8 crew, love that, love that title. Uh, Bridget says the retreat is great. And I love the ability to go back and recreate the cards for different people or events. Exactly. Uh, Debbie says we all get together and chat like we do now, but you get four of the best Stampin' Up! demonstrators, best Stampin' Up! Stampin' Up! stampers uh, to share ideas. There you go. Thank you, Debbie. Wow. Deborah's been to all of the retreats. This will be number 17. This was another thing that we started when our world changed um, and we felt the need to get people stamping and keep people stamping. Uh, she says she's learned a lot of new ideas and techniques. Yay, I'm so glad. Sharon Berry says this will be my fifth retreat and each one is better than the last. Wow. Wow. Uh, Brooke family says that she has attended all but one. That's still impressive. Mary Alexander says lots of fun to watch and can watch them over and over again. Can't make it this time as I have other plans. So we'll have to make the next one. Okay. The next one will be in the, um, is it July? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Shirley says, I looked up a card from four years ago that you had made Sharon a few days ago. Had to look through um, a few till I found it. I bet you did in four years. I bet you did have to look through quite a few. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank y'all for sharing your thoughts about the retreats. Virginia Batson. Hello, my friend. She says, I've been to two retreats. I just love them. Have learned so much. Thank you so much for doing these retreats. You're so welcome. Susan says, this will be my second. I love doing all the pre-retreat projects. Yes. Diane says, Chris and I will be attending our 13th retreat. We keep all the PDFs in folders and go back and use them all the time. You know, it's, it's great to have that inspiration where, you know, you can just use it over and over again, like somebody said, for uh, different um, occasions, different needs. Clue number 10. Add the greeting and mat layer to the right side of the card, overlapping the layers on the left with dimensionals. So we're putting it over here and we're going to be overlapping some of these pieces. Okay. When you are done with clue number 10, type done 10. I'll be right back.
Okay, y'all all done? <laughs> Take care, Enika. Um, Rochelle says, well, this will be my 10th retreat. I love learning to make all the cards you share. Yay. All right. Clue number 11. <clears throat> I want you to add the one half inch by five and a half inch DSP to the inside of the card with adhesive. We don't typically decorate the inside of the card, but we are going to today. Cindy Wagner says, the retreats are so awesome. Great ideas and techniques with the best demonstrators. The Creative Eight crew are addicting. That's so funny. We're addicting. I did add the link below the video if you want to go read about it. Um, you can check it all out. And then um, you can also register right there. You can live anywhere in the world because it's held on YouTube. Diane... Let's see. Diane says, forgot to check my time. She's in Calgary. Um, so she'll have to watch the replay. This replay will be on here forever on my YouTube channel. You can share it with your friends. Um, you can recreate this card at 8 p.m. Central. Ooh, almost time. Uh, my blog post will go live and you will be able to download a much more compact version of these clues. So, how are we doing? Uh, when you're done with 11, type done 11. Hi, Sandy from Las Vegas. Thank goodness for the replay, she said. <clears throat> I had to go and feed my dog, my friend's dogs. Well, I'm sure the dog appreciated it. So, um, Mary says, I always decorate the envelope and the inside. We're going to start doing more of that here on Mystery Stamping. Um, we do that. We've started doing that um, at the Creative Eight retreats as well. So we're going to start doing that here um, more on mystery stamping. How many more clues are there? There is one more clue. And it's easy. Does your card need anything? Does it need embellishments, ribbon? I let mine, let the designer series paper be the focal point. I did not feel that mine needed anything. But if you think yours needs something, you can add it now or you can add it later. So I want to talk to you really quick about the, um, let me just move this over. Wow, even my arms are, my hands are a different color. <laughs> okay, I got to stop that. That's, that's crazy. Okay, we're going to talk about the Stamping Friends membership, okay? <clears throat> so, um, as a member of my YouTube channel, you will have member-only features. I will still be going live for Mystery Stamping on Monday night, so don't panic. Um, you'll get a loyalty badge by your name, and that's the little Texas symbol that you're seeing by some of the people's names in the chat. Um, and if you comment on the video, you also see it below the video. You'll get an exclusive project tutorial. You'll get a members only VIP stamping event. Um, you'll get a members only poll. And there's actually a poll in the membership site now. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you that really quick. You'll get members only live chats. You'll get priority reply to comments. You're going to get special tips videos to help you in your card making. These are going to be one minute, two minute, three minute little quick videos. We're saying that VIP stamping will be very inspirational projects. They may not be a card. It may be something totally different. We're going to be meeting the second Tuesday of the month starting May 7th. Okay. But in the meantime, I'll be sharing those quick tip videos for members only in the community tab here on my channel. I can't notify you via email because you're signing up through YouTube, okay? Um, but I can mention in my email, like my normal email system, that there is something for you in the community tab. So if you're not on my email system, you need to be, okay? Let's see, what else did I say? All right, so I'm going to share my screen really quick so that you can see. Um, 
here. So this is the join button if you want to join the Stamping Friend VIP group, okay? Um, and then when you look at the community tab, there is a poll. Oh, sorry, here's the poll. What would you like to see in future Stamping Friend YouTube lives? You want to see a non-card? Ooh, somebody's already been voting. A unique card project. I am so proud of y'all. Y'all have already been over here voting. Oh my goodness. So I have a welcome for the members only. And then I have a poll. And so the any videos or tutorials or anything will be shared in the community tab. But apparently this part of my presentation was not needed because y'all are voting. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. <laughs> okay. If you have any questions, you can comment below the video if you're watching the replay um, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. The first thing I had y'all do was to, um, Vicki says, will Mystery Monday, Mystery Stamping stay every Monday? Yes, Mystery Stamping will be every Monday night live. My Thursday night videos may be a video like a premiere or a live. Um, but my VIP event will be a live event on a Tuesday night, okay? The cost is $4.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. So the first thing I had y'all do tonight to solve the mystery was um, to make your, uh-oh, how did my card get sealed? Oh man, my card got sealed. Well, rats. Okay, it's just right there. Oh, that's crazy. I had you decorate the envelope flap with your designer series paper. Okay. All right. Here is my card. What do you think? I absolutely love this card. When I cut that designer series paper, so when y'all somebody asked about the floral pattern, I was like, oh, cut it because it's so pretty when you do it. So this is um, the Simply Xenia's, no, that's not the paper. Anyways, the Xenia's paper that is the online exclusive uh, paper. And I, I, I absolutely gasped when I made this card. <laughs> so when you, uh, I want you to take a picture of your card. I want you to share it on social media in our Facebook group or if you want to share it um, on Instagram or whatever, hashtag Mystery Monday Stamping. And then I want you to mail that card to someone, okay? I, I think they are going to just think you're just the smartest person in the world because you made this gorgeous card. <laughs> Doesn't it pop, Robin? Ah, I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. So there you go. Thank you, Mary Walk. I'm so glad. All right, y'all, I will be back on Thursday night here on my YouTube channel at 7 o'clock p.m. Central with a really fun fold that I haven't made in years, but I was happy that I um, created it. And, oh, my gosh, I just realized it might be using the same designer series paper. Just saying. Have a great evening. Happy stamping, y'all. Bye.